Hi, I just got back from the farmer's market and I thought I would do a quick little farmer's market haul for you. First things first, I got a seeded sourdough loaf and she looks and smells beautiful. Very excited to have a slice of that with avocado on it. Mwah. I got some arugula. I wanna do an arugula salad with Parmesan and maybe this radish that I got. This beautiful guy, the lady at the stand said that they last forever, basically, like months, and it's a big boy. So I, I don't have a mandolin, unfortunately, but I think cutting these like really thin because it's a watermelon um, radish, they're like that beautiful, bright pink color. That with some arugula and then like some shaved Parmesan or something, that's what I was thinking. It is root season. Everything was just like roots and potatoes and carrots and kind of all of these like hearty vegetables, you know, that have like survived the winter. So I got a bunch of those. I got a mixture of different potatoes. She had these ones called Magic Molly potatoes. And they sounded fun. It sounded like a good time. Other potatoes, I got some onions and a handful of carrots. And it was so cool because the lady at this stand, I pulled this one out and I was like, look how wacky it is. And she's like, yeah, because carrots grow in all kinds of, you know, funky shapes normally, you know, when they're not being altered. So it's kind of cool to like, you know, see real food. Like there was a bunch of carrots that almost were like shaped like chicken feet. And that's just normal. So buy some funky carrots because they're more fun that way. I got the most gorgeous basil of all time. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. Just take an inhale. It is so fragrant. It doesn't smell like grocery store basil. It's different. And then I got this herbed goat cheese. I got pea shoot pesto. And then for meats, I got two chicken breasts. One I'm gonna put in the freezer and one I'm gonna cook tonight. And then some Italian sausage, which I'm also keeping in the freezer. What I'm making for dinner tonight is I saw this Ina Garten recipe where she did this super easy oven baked chicken breast. And what she did was she put goat cheese on the chicken breast, put it in the oven, and also put a bit of basil on it. So I have those three ingredients. I'm gonna make that tonight. And I'm also gonna do an arugula salad on the side with the radish. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Very exciting. So today we're doing something fun. We are doing a little photo shoot for the podcast that I have with my two best friends. It's called Blah Blah Blah. And so I'm heading over this morning to do that, which I think will be fun. I'll take you guys along. But more importantly, I'm drinking out of my new sheep mug that I am completely and utterly in love with. How cute is that? And breakfast is granola kefir bowl with extra, extra, extra cinnamon. Go. It went really well. It went amazing. amazing. I think we got it. Our, our, our amazing photographer, Alina. Yay. Need any photographer needs. Go follow her. Please, please. Guys, the whole team was just amazing today. Thank you guys so much. You absolutely can't it. It's about to wrap. We can start uh, shutting everything down. The trucks are okay. coming. Oh, there is. It's on its way out. Thank you guys. They were amazing. They were, they were yeah. such a great team. So I'm having Zoo and Cicely over for dinner tonight. We want to do this thing where once a week, one of us cooks an entree from like a cookbook or a recipe that we've been wanting to try and host it at their house. Then the other people bring like an appetizer or a dessert. It's a cold rainy day and I got a bunch of potatoes and mushrooms from the farmer's market. 
and some other kind of root vegetables. I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie, vegetarian, which is basically like this filling with a bunch of vegetables. Normally it has like lamb or beef in it. And then you cover it with mashed potatoes and you bake it in a casserole dish in the oven. And it looks really yummy and just like comforting. So that's what we're making right now. So I have all of my colorful potatoes from the farmer's market and I'm going to boil them, turn them into mashed potatoes. Okay, here's where we're at. Boiled the potatoes. This is my vegetarian version, so I used mushroom instead of meat. There's carrots, onions, garlic, mushrooms, Worcestershire sauce, rosemary, chicken broth, and I'll try to link the recipe below that I'm kind of going after. And now we're bringing this to a simmer. This is going to be the inside. This is going to be the topping. Okay, veggies are in the casserole dish. Then I did a sprinkle of cheddar cheese, and now we're gonna put our potatoes on top. That was so difficult to spread out the potato, but I did it. Now I'm gonna put Parmesan on top and put it in the oven. Dinner party set up. Every candle lit that I own. <laughs> so that was gonna burn down. <laughs> Cicely brought an appetizer. What did you make? I made a feta, like a whipped feta dip. I tried to make it whipped, but my blender wasn't really blending. So it's basically a hand mashed feta dip with honey, parsley, red chili flakes. There's like some Greek yogurt in there. Oh, garlic. I mean, I have radishes and cucumber because it's gluten-free and then I made homemade bread. Homemade bread, you guys. Yesterday, so I just cubed it up. Wait, and are you kidding? Are you kidding? There. Martha Stewart who? And I brought G some bread, so I better see it in the vlog tomorrow you for making will. her breakfast. Can we just like take a moment to look at how cute this is that G did? Aww. Look at this little deer. Oh yeah, you should your Oh, Zeus here! <laughs> so this is a vegetarian shepherd's pie, and what's in it is onions, garlic, tomatoes, um, carrots. Not tomatoes, but I lied. <laughs> <laughs> take two. <laughs> This is my vegetarian shepherd's pie, mm -hmm. and what's in it is garlic, onions, carrots, mushrooms. Then you put it in like um, broth, and then on top I put cheddar cheese. Then I put mashed potatoes on top, and then I put a sprinkle of parmesan. Wow! Yum! And this is Cicely's little corner piece. Thank you. Yummy yums. So I've never—I don't think I've ever had a shepherd's pie in my life. I haven't either, <laughs> nor have I ever made one. I'm so excited. I just feel like rainy day vibes, like this was actually a good. This is a perfect one. Okay, we're on to our dessert course. So right here we have a gluten-free oatmeal chocolate chip cherry cookie. Thank you for that. Yes. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it is. It looks amazing. <gasps> Yay! It is another rainy day today here in New York City. I think it's been raining like every single day. But I'm very excited because right now, I'm gonna make toast with Cicely's homemade bread that she baked and she gave it to me last night. So let's make it together. I'm gonna take some butter, put it on my bread and toast it up in the pan. I am also making some soft boiled eggs. Let's check on the bread. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, bread is done. On this one, I did butter and cheese, and on this one, just a simple butter and jam. Mm. So good. There's nothing like homemade bread and just simple butter and jam. Mm. Here is my brunch situation. Thanks, Cicely. So I'm very excited because right now I'm on my way to get my hair cut by one of my favorite people ever. His name's Tim. He used to cut my hair in LA when I lived in LA, but he's visiting New York and he's doing a cut class and he asked if I wanted to be the cut model and then we could do whatever I wanted. So I said, hell yeah. 
very excited. I think I'm gonna do, I don't wanna do anything too crazy, but honestly, I would trust him to do whatever because he's so talented. But I think I wanna do like a little curtain bang situation, then maybe some layers. So we'll see, but very fun because I have not gotten a haircut in a while. look better and all I did was just get a cut but we kind of did this like fringy little curtain bang vibe and he just also like cut my hair a little bit and I'm so obsessed so 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 obsessed I showed him like a picture from J Daisy Jones and the Six and I do feel like it's very like 70s vibe which I'm super into it was so funny because it was not at all what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like he was teaching a class of like a couple people, maybe like 12 people or something. And I walk in, it is a full blown stage, lights, camera, action. There was tons of people in the audience. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know what to expect. And it was like way bigger than I thought. I'm in full beat right now. Do not have any plans of going home. There was a makeup artist to do makeup on you. Honestly, it was so interesting to watch everyone do their hairstyles and haircuts and colors. It was really, really amazing. And just such a fun experience. And it was really great to see Tim. So my dad's side of the family is Swedish. And over the summer, we went to Sweden to visit some family. And recently, I've had such a craving for like a classic Swedish breakfast. So I bought some like crisp bread, which is what they usually have in the morning for breakfast. And then you can put like a hard Swedish cheese on it and you can put butter on it, you can put cucumbers, avocado. So all that's to say, I know of this bakery that is Scandinavian inspired and it's called S'more and it's in New York, it's in the East Village. So I'm walking over there now because they have a little pantry section and I want to see if they have any kind of like traditional Swedish pantry items. If they have this cheese that I'm looking for and any other goodies. So let's go. It is also a gorgeous sunny day in New York and it feels like spring is around the corner. Okay, sadly they did not have what I was looking for, but I got a coffee and I'm happy about that. So here is my attempt at my Scandinavian breakfast that I was craving. So on the right here we have some granola with kefir and bananas and cinnamon. And then on this side we have our crisp bread with salted butter and this is a cheese, a hard cheese from Switzerland that I found. That was like the closest I could get. And then a soft boiled egg with mustard. And obviously my coffee. If you've never had kefir before, it's like a kind of almost like a sour yogurt, I guess, or like more tart yogurt. Mm, I love it. It's a cross between yogurt and milk, I would say, like consistency-wise in the middle there. Mm, so good. Ah. Oh. 